couple updates now, and they focus on Ulster County. Kingston, New York, apparently is facing an economic slump. A new report by U.S. Metro Economy shows that Kingston's economic growth potential is given a very low ranking. In fact, it ranked 356th out of 363 cities across the country. As a frame of reference, Midland, Texas came in first. And also, Senator Charles Schumer and Senator Kirsten Gillibrand, they want to revamp Kingston's rail system. They are seeking more than $11 million to link rail trails in both Wallkill Valley, O&W Roundout, Kingston Point, and Catskill Mountain Trails to the center of Kingston, which, as many of you may know, was the original capital of New York State. Officials say the move, it would appeal to both bikers and pedestrians and, almost most importantly, improve vehicle traffic. Now we move over to New Hampshire, where tonight, for the first time, we are hearing from a former Army Staff Sergeant who is being awarded the nation's highest military decoration. That after fighting off Taliban fighters for 90 minutes, despite suffering shrapnel injuries to both legs and arm. He says he's accepting the Medal of Honor, the highest honor that this country can give to its warriors in the name of its comrades, especially the ones that didn't make it home. The honor belongs to every man who fought at vehicle patrol base Kaler, especially to those who made the ultimate sacrifice, allowing the rest of us to return home. He went in a 17 year old kid from New Hampshire and he came out a hero, a recipient of the Medal of Honor still thinking about his friends who died. I have an absolute responsibility to tell our story because there are nine men who cannot, and it is their names that you should know. Their unit was hit by 200 Taliban insurgents. They were close, very close. They were in hand grenade range. I mean, honestly, it's a blur from the beginning of the, uh, the fight, from that opening burst to, to being wounded. Strong and humble, he speaks to tell the story of his friends. Sergeant Israel Garcia died in his arms. There wasn't anything we could do for him um, other than for me to give him the guarantee that I would come home and tell his wife and mom that he loved him. And he was thinking of them in his last moments. His physical wounds healed well. He's now married to Amy and they have a son. All this, he says, due to the men who fought with him dropping all around him. When I realized I was alone, I, I thought I was going to die. I thought it was my time. Um, but my biggest concern is that I knew that I didn't want to be taken alive. It was over in 90 minutes, but it will never really be over. It was the greatest thing I've ever done in my life, and it was the honor of my lifetime to serve with those guys. Ryan Pitt says he won't push his son away or toward the military, but he wants him to do what he thinks is right, which is exactly what Dad did. Staff Sergeant Pitts, he will receive the Medal of Honor on July 21st in a ceremony at the White House. RFL will wrap things up when we return.